Welcome to another Kirby screencast. The purpose of this screencast is learning how to make a job aid in Microsoft Publisher. So we must begin by finding out what is a job aid. A job aid gives step-by-step -step information about how to do a job. In our case, we will be making flowcharts. Flowcharts give you a series of steps to follow in order to accomplish a task. For example, here is a flowchart on how to decide whether or not to take an umbrella with you. You start by asking, is it raining today? If it is, you follow the yes side and take an umbrella. If it's not, you leave the umbrella at home. Of course, you wouldn't actually need a flowchart to make a decision like this, but for more complicated steps, you might need one. So we are going to be making an example of how a bill becomes a law. You need to start by creating a rough draft, for example, like this. I did this one by hand. Of course, you could do your final product by hand, but we're looking to use some more technology than that. But before I can make this on the computer, I first need to know what is my flowchart going to look like. So you can see I have all the steps and how a bill becomes a law. Next, I need to transfer this information into Microsoft Publisher so I can make a more polished looking flowchart. So here we are in Microsoft Publisher. I've opened a new document. I opened an 11 by 17 document so I have plenty of room to work. Now the first thing I need to do is add my title. So I can either do that by going up here to insert or I can start at home and just pick shapes. I'm going to pick this rectangle, the one with the rounded edge. I'm going to draw one right here. Now that's kind of plain and simple. I want it to have a little bit more pizzazz than that. So you see up here my menu bar automatically changed and I'm at my drawing tools. I'm going to click on this button right here and I'm going to get several options. I'm going to pick the darker blue. I like that one better. I'm also going to choose to change the fill of my shape. I'm going to change it to I think this color right here. Now I want to insert a text box. So I'm going to come back over here and say draw text box. And I'm going to draw my text box inside of the bubble that I just made. And I'm going to write the title for this flowchart. How a bill becomes a law. Now obviously I want it to be bigger than that. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to center it. I'm then going to increase the size. That was a little too much, so I think right there, that looks good. So now I have my title, How a Bill Becomes a Law. I'm going to follow the same process to create some more boxes. You see I've created this one here that says, My Idea, that's my first step, if you recall, and I can remember that by looking back here. Idea, that's my first step. And now I want to make my next step. The idea is introduced in the House or the Senate. So I come back to Publisher. Rather than drawing a new box, what I'm going to do is I'm actually using the control button. I'm going to click both of these and I'm going to say group. So they're now one item. And then I'm going to copy. I clicked Control C or you can right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to hit Control V and I've pasted it. So now I have a box that's the exact same height, but I need to change the actual, the same height, same dimensions, but I need to change the actual words inside to fit the, the fact that the idea is introduced in the House and Senate. So I'm going to double click on this or triple click. Okay. Idea is introduced in the House and Senate. But you can see that my Words are too big, so I need to make them smaller, and then I can see I misspelled things because I couldn't see them. So I fixed my spelling. I need to capitalize House, and I need to capitalize Senate. And I think that I might be able to have them be slightly bigger than this, but not a whole lot more. I'm going to actually drag my box down a little bit, and there you go. Now I need to connect these two boxes with an arrow because this is a flowchart. So I come back up to shapes. I'm going to choose my arrow. 
I'm going to start right here at the idea box. I'm just going to draw my line this way. And when I let go, I have an arrow. But I don't like the fact that my arrow is black, and I don't like how small it is. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to double click it, make sure I've got it, and then I can edit my shape right here. My outlines, I can change the weight. See, that made it bigger. And then I can change the color to that blue color that makes it the same. So then I can have my arrow between my boxes. Then I'm just going to keep creating all of the boxes for the different parts of the flowchart and connecting them with arrows. Now, if you've made your rough draft well, it won't take long to copy and paste the boxes and change your text. So as you can see, I've already added some more boxes and some more arrows, and I'll scroll down and show you um, what I'm doing here. So I'm not going to show you the whole process because I don't want to give you the entire process of how Bill Becomes a Law because that's what some of you may choose. But I want to show you how you can change and move your arrows. And what I've been doing, instead of having to recreate my arrow and change the color every time, I simply, again, select the arrow, right-click, copy, and then right-click, paste. So here's that same arrow again, and it's easy enough to change it. I just grab the point, and I can move it around. And then that way, I don't have to keep making new arrows. So I'm going to make a second one here and move it over here to the no. The other thing I wanted to show you right here is this is the first place where um, coming off of one box, there's two options. When the House and Senate votes on a bill, House or Senate votes on the bill, there might either be a yes vote or a no vote. So I have two options. If it's a yes vote, it's going to keep going in this direction. So you see, I've, again, I'm just using Control C and Control V to copy and paste. But I would just uh, simply keep going in this direction. If it's a no vote, it dies. So I'm done. And then I'll keep going this direction. And if I ever have another one that has more than one option, I would do the same thing with two arrows and two boxes coming off of the same one. I have not completely finished my flowchart, but I want to show you how to save it when you're done. I'm going to click on the File button over here, and I'm going to click Save As. And you want to save, uh, if you're still going to work on it, you want to save it as a publisher file. If you're done, you want to click here and scroll down to save it as a PDF, because the PDF will make it official, final, like a poster. And when you name it, I'm going to use my name, but you want to do it like this. I wrote my first name, Carrie, and then underscore Kirby, and then underscore flowchart. Okay, so you want to make sure you have your first and last name and then flowchart, and just put the little underscores in between each word. And that's how you save it. And that's how you make a job aid in Microsoft Publisher.